Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you guys are joining me on this budget with me. Um, this is paycheck number three for the month of January. And I really hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. I know I love them. I love um, seeing how other people set up their budget and it gives me the opportunity to possibly maybe adjust how I work out my budget and see if maybe I can tweak out a few things, but I've really been enjoying the way that I have this laid out. It's been really functional for me having it in my happy planner and I like how I have it all decorated and organized. Um, I'm one that I just have to be organized and when I look at something and it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye it really makes me want to do it more um, and especially since I've been doing these videos um, really not that long I've only been uh, uploading for I want to say maybe it's gonna be six months maybe five or six months um, that I've actually been doing like budgeting videos and that's also been motivating to me um, so I'm so happy that you guys uh, are enjoying this I know you all did my lat on my last video um, and here is another one for you guys um, make sure though that you stay tuned to the end because I am doing these shout outs of like my favorite um, comments from a previous video so make sure you stay tuned to the end because you never know if it's you who is in my shout out and I also want to share a few things um, if you are watching this I'm gonna be uploading this in the morning so if you get a chance to watch this before midnight Eastern Standard Time I am doing a giveaway for hitting 500 subscribers I will link up the video that I uploaded last week with all of the information of that and what I am going to be giving away so make sure you check out that video after you watch this video but I'll link that up here and um, I will be announcing the giveaway winner and contacting them on Instagram after tonight so Saturday morning I will be announcing the giveaway winner but um, you can only enter until Friday Eastern Standard Time at midnight. So I hope I explained that okay, but all of the information, like I said, is in that prior video. So yeah, that is what's going on there. And then also um, I have some information on my description box down below. It's a link to this PDF file that you can go ahead and print this out and put it in your envelope. I got some inspiration on Pinterest, I think is where I found like a, a picture or something similar to this and it's kind of nice because you can write down like what envelope this is what's the beginning balance and you can have like a check register in your envelope so you know how much money you have in each envelope but I believe that there are going to be three to a page so you can just cut it out and make sure that it fits inside of your envelope very nicely so I hope you guys enjoy this it is a free printable that I created for my viewers so make sure that you check that out share it with your friends family and i hope that this is really helpful for you guys um i just wanted to do something nice and i'm really <laughs> i don't know if, uh, if i'll be making an etsy shop or any anything like that but if this can help someone out there and get you organized why not just share it with you all so another thing that i had announced in my last video is that I recently got um, or purchased a Financial Peace University and look at what came in. I was so excited that I got this. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. Um, but we have been definitely checking out those videos that we received for FPU and we're just on a roll we are so motivated we cannot wait to pay off this debt and work the baby steps so let me know have you guys been joined financial peace university have any of you been a part of that let me know in the comment section down below i love to read all of your comments but anywho let's just go on into the budget with me because i know that that is what you are here for so this is my new um setup that i have in my happy planner and i just have some notebook um, or the happy planner uh, 
lined paper here and I just put some stickers and made it look super cute but I really like this it makes me want to budget and stick with it seeing it really nice here um, but I have my income up here that I am budgeting for the top piece here is all of the fixed expenses that I have coming out every month and then down here are what I withdrew uh, funds for for my cash envelopes and the thing that you want to make sure that you do is stick to a zero base budget and guys I mentioned this a few times but I will go ahead and I will mention it again because I cannot get enough of it this is the every dollar app get it I am telling you you have to get this it's a free app and you can just mark down all of your bills and the different options so transportation food lifestyle you can add in whatever you want and it just makes life so much easier and really it makes you stick to your budget like it makes you not go over budget you see that you have like for example gifts I had withdrawn withdrawn um, $12 for gifts so it says it right there and it says I have $11 left for the month to set aside for gifts so I know that for my last pay of the month I have to set aside $11 so that I can stay within budget and it cannot be over it cannot be over so this is a great way that you can stay within budget guys I'm honest to God you have to get this like it really is life-changing um, I'm not like sponsored or anything by the every dollar app or anything like that but really it really helps it honestly does so definitely check out the app it's free it's free guys um, so yeah we're just gonna go into laying out what I set, set aside here but these are all the fixed expenses things that are coming due um, I had already set aside like half of some of these bills I separated into two so I divide the the actual bill into two different paychecks and I separate half for each so this is the other half electric mortgage I've already set aside a portion of it for mortgage I like to be ahead of the game um, my phone this is half of the payment 6208 car lease yes I have a fleece yes we do have a fleece I do understand that um, I know I've gotten like some comments that says Dave Ramsey would not approve yeah I know I know he would not approve but you know what I made this this decision over two years ago I've had my car it's gonna be the last year that I have my car lease and I honestly think I'm just gonna stick it through yes I'm not gonna go through the hassle of listing my car for sale because it's a lease it's going to be really difficult to sell it so I'm just going to stick it out throughout the end of the lease and we're going to be saving for me getting a car cash so that's the goal guys that is the goal and then we have our care credit um, I have to pay $39.50 to my care credit and that will actually pay this off and I won't owe anything anymore so that pays off a debt as well so that's really awesome one less debt I am so happy yes okay now we have our car insurance this is half of the car insurance payment and that is done um, so yeah all of the rest of the bills for the house and things like that have already come out and like I said I always separate it into two I like to pay it one half in one pay and the other half on another paycheck when it's come due so yes you do not see water here because I have already paid that you don't see internet here because I've already paid that and so on and so forth so I hope that you guys understand like my method it works for me it may not work for everybody but hey it works for me and I really like my system that I have going on here now moving on to the cash envelopes these are the the cash that I withdrew from the bank $310 and this is how I'm going to be separating it as you can see grocery is only $25 yeah yep I'm only going to spend $25 on groceries for this week because we're going to shop what we already have in the pantry this is a grocery challenge that I am doing with my husband we're setting aside two weeks out of the month where we're only spending $25 for six days now there's only two of us so we can do it we did it the first week um, of our challenge and I will actually be uploading that video 
probably tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned and have your notification bell link or hit because you would not want to miss that video. I was really excited when I filmed it because we actually went under budget. So I'm so happy about that. And then I'll be filming what we came up with for this next grocery shopping trip for $25 for two. So I was really excited about that. And this is a way that we can add money to our car fund. So we are trying to get a car and this is a way that we came up with that we could possibly save $50 because our usual grocery week, our week grocery budget is $75. So we get to save $50 to car fund. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I took out $20 for my husband's gas, 10 for me, $12 for gift, and then car fund. We are adding $243 to our car fund. Yes. Okay. Can you tell that I'm excited? Like I'm so excited. Okay because we are getting at this. <laughs> um, so as you can see, 1165 was the income up here. 1165 is um, what the total expenses and cash envelopes and everything adds up to. So that is a zero-based budget. Yes, that's where you wanna be. You wanna be at a zero-based budget, guys. All right, so let me just go on into stuffing the cash envelopes because yes, it is so satisfying when you see envelopes stuffed. I just love that part of these videos. So I'm just going to move this aside so you guys can like follow along with me when I'm stuffing my envelopes. And let me just get all of this stuff together. Uh, and I cannot believe guys that I am like, as at the time that I am filming this video, I'm almost at 700 subscribers. Like that is just insane to me. You guys are absolutely amazing. I just wanna say thank you so much for all of your support. This community, this budget community, you guys rock. You guys are just the best. So I can't stress that enough, how much I love each and every one of you, all of your comments, everything, you guys just rock. So let's just get into this. So we're gonna do $25 for groceries so 20 uh 25 goes in here and i think that would actually leave like 26 dollars for groceries because i have a, about a dollar yep i have a dollar left over from the last time and i still have money left in my walmart gift card I have like $4 still because I haven't used that. So that's super helpful for that. Um, gas for my husband, he gets 20 bucks. So he has not yet put gas. This is from the last time. So he still gets $20. Okay. I don't know about you, but like, Using the envelope system has truly helped us realize where every dollar is going. Um, that and the Every Dollar app. But um, using the envelopes and actually sticking to this system, like it's really changed us. Like we have saved so much money. Um, we've been able to, we've been able to save for specific things and we have a vision we have things written down we have a goal you know we have our budget meetings now and it's just oh my gosh it's been crazy like I can't believe it all right so we have twelve dollars going to gifts and it's both mine and my husband's birthdays in March so little bit here a little bit there that we can save for doing something nice um you know it obviously doesn't have to cost super like a lot of money but something nice you know we've been we've been married now for um it's gonna be uh seven years this year this september will be seven years us being married so and together for like been about 10 years that we've been together um, since we were dating so we 
just spending time with each other means so much to us. Um, so yeah, we're, we're excited for our birthdays. All right, so we have 243. Let's just make sure that I counted right. 240, one, two, and three. It goes into the car So, how much does it say that I have? It says I have 9.30, so let me just get a pen, a calculator. So, we are going to do, today is the 15th. Added two forty three. So we're doing nine thirty plus two forty three. Eleven seventy three is what I should have. All right, let's. See this. Let me just separate this. I need to have my bills facing the same way. <laughs> um, 40. All right. Seventy-three. Right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty, nine, fifty, one thousand. Fifty always throws me off. I don't know about if I'm the only one. All right, so fifty, two twenties, and that's ten. That's one hundred. 120, 40, 160, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3. Yep. It adds up. Let me just organize this now. Put these in order. So I already have $1,173 for car. And what's nice is that my husband, he has been hustling. He has been doing some side jobs and he's actually going to do a side job um, next week. Um, he does like remodeling and he does woodworking. So he's been making shelves and all of that. So I'm so happy. I'm so proud of him. He is absolutely amazing. So... That is everything for the cash envelope portion of my video. And let's just get to the shout outs. Um, I'm so happy that you guys have been like commenting and I've tried to respond to each and every one of you. I try my best. Um, but my last video, I was so shocked at the amount of views and comments and everything that I got. So I apologize if I didn't get back to you guys, but I'm gonna try my best to set aside time to do that. But my shout out for um, this comment and all of you guys, like you made me feel so good um, with your comments and encouraged me and you just have been supporting me. So I wanted to shout out all of you guys, but there was one that really touched my heart and um, that is a comment from Cheryl Warren. Um, she said that over the past week, I've watched a lot of cash envelope videos. Yours stuck out to me immediately because of your obedience to tithe first and your recognition of God. Blessings to you and your husband. I was like, oh my gosh, my, my purpose is just to give you guys encouragement and to share what works for me and hopefully that one thing that I do may you ha may have a takeaway. So that's really the purpose of these videos and just the fact that she mentioned about my me giving to the church. And as you can see here on like my previous, in case you have not seen it, 
but I always give a tithe and everything in my envelope and I've already done that so I wasn't able to do that for this or I didn't do it for this video because I've already given a tithe um, and given a little above that so I am a firm believer in giving to the church giving what belongs to God um, and it's rewarded me God has blessed me and my husband in many ways um, other than finances like he has blessed our marriage he has allowed us to grow closer to one another and you know grown in friendships and everything like that so it, that was really encouraging to me. So I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has left comments and have just supported me along the way. And I hope that you guys really enjoy these. Please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and leaving a comment down below of a takeaway or just let me know what system do you guys use for budgeting. I would love to know um, if this method works for you. Are you more of a um, like using Excel or just let me know what systems you guys use. I always love to know that. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where I do other giveaways and things like that and share my successes and other things. So make sure you check me out over there. And I hope to talk to you guys soon and I will catch you guys on another video. Bye guys.